Fermi 3 would uh, pose the same sorts of environmental risks that are that, uh, present and, and past nuclear plants do. Uh, there, there, of course, there's a long-standing controversy about the exposure to uh, low-level low radiation over long periods of time. But beyond that, uh, there's still the threat of catastrophic accidents. And what we've seen, with, uh, as with uh, the Davis-Bessey incident in uh, March of 2002, uh, the catastrophic accidents are still very much a possibility. And in fact, uh, the uh, U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission uh, testified before Congress in April of 1985, just before the a uh, year before the Chernobyl disaster. And what the NRC told Congress was that the uh, crude statistical probability of another major accident at a U.S. nuclear plant was 45% uh, over a period of 20 years, given 100 reactors operating. So we're operating 104 reactors in this country, and uh, we're, we're, we're uh, getting close to the 30th anniversary of the, th of the Three Mile Island accident. So I would say using the, the NRC's own testimony to Congress in April of 1985, that we're at a point where another major accident is imminent. And that could be at Fermi 2, Fermi 3 when it's constructed, or any one of the reactors now operating around the country. Health concerns? Specific health concerns. Well, cancer. Kevin, you want to chime in here? Yeah. Uh, you may have to take off the pink panther here. You got some gray hair. Yeah. So, health concerns with nuclear power? Boy, I'd start at the very beginning of the nuclear fuel chain. I just uh, attended a anti uranium mining gathering in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan just over the past weekend, led by Native Americans from the Keweenaw Bay Indian community. There are multiple proposed uranium mines in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And as we've seen from the Navajo and Pueblo Indian experiences in the Southwest, uh, Native Americans bear the brunt of the health damage from uranium mining. And that's the very first stage of this nuclear nightmare. These nuclear power plants are making high-level radioactive waste for which there's no solution. Again, the targeted dump sites are Native American land, Western Shoshone land in Nevada. They're targeting reservations to park this stuff on indefinitely. Um, there's routine radiation emissions from all nuclear power plants, including this one. Back in 1994, 1995, they released a huge volume of radioactive water into Lake Erie after an accident at this plant. Uh, the Fermi 1 meltdown, uh, the classic book is We Almost Lost Detroit. We've seen from Chernobyl, uh, that a meltdown can wipe out an entire region of a continent. And that's the risk that's taken with these older reactors like Fermi 2. And then the new reactors are going to have bugs that have not been worked out yet. Chernobyl was a brand new reactor when it exploded and burned. Three Mile Island was a brand new reactor. There's unseen bugs that uh, we may find out about when one of these reactors has a meltdown. So there's tremendous uh, human health concerns, ecological concerns with the entire nuclear fuel chain. Thanks, sir. Uh, what, what's your name and are you with the new organization? My name is Kevin Camps and I'm with Beyond Nuclear and also with Don't Waste Michigan. Thank you, sir.